Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Today's video, matching numbers, 396, four speed, air conditioned, power window, black, black Chevelle, awesome. And I have to tell you, as I look around this car, the 69 model, great looking, great quality paint, great interior. And uh, let's start right here now, since you can kind of see, because this is what you need to be able to check out, is how do you feel about the paint? Well, the paint in pictures can make it look like anything. And I like to move this around. Look at that. You can read everything in there. You can see what time it is. Those kinds of things. And that's the kind of things you need to be looking for, especially when you're buying a classic car that you want to be shiny, you want it to look good, you want to be able to go to a show and not get beat up. And the guy say, wow, you're this, uh, so when are you going to get it painted? And the guy, and you say to him, well, what do you mean when I just bought the car? It's supposed to be beautiful. And the reason it's not beautiful is because you bought it in pictures and you didn't get to see the video on the car. The video on the car shows you the details, shows you the imperfection, shows you what's good and what's bad. So let's walk around and we'll look at some of the other stuff too. New chrome and stainless on the car. Headlights work. Tail lights work, turn signals work, flashers work. You may say, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is I buy a lot of cars. And you know what? Uh, nine times out of 10, most of that stuff doesn't work. The gas gauge doesn't work, things like that. And you think, well, Fleming's, your price is a little bit higher. Well, well first off, our price includes free and closed door-to-door -door shipping, which you would have to pay anyway. It also includes a car that's uh, what we call turnkey ready, meaning that the flashers work, the headlights work, uh, the turn signals work, like all those things that you would have to get fixed also. It also means the car performs well, it drives well, things like that. That's the kind of money you're gonna spend also if you can find somebody to work on it uh, in a timely manner. There's lots of people who love to work on these cars, but they're busy and they don't always have time to work on them. Uh, to get you in right away. All right, some hidden things that you can't see. Power disc brakes, nice important feature when you got high horsepower, big block cars. Yeah, although they want to go, uh, they also need to be able to stop and, uh, and uh, that's the way this works here. The red stripe on the car, now if it was me, you know, I might consider uh, making a small change on this car and I want you to think about that, is putting on a set of red line tires on here. The red line tires with the red stripe on the side and all the black would look really, really nice. Uh, they're a little bit extra, but uh, uh, you know, negotiate that with your salesperson, see what you can beat them up over. You got this right here, so that everybody knows uh, what just happened. Uh, some guy in an SS396 Chevelle just spanked me. Oh, okay. So we just had this done. I took the mat out because I wanted you to see, because this is uh, part of the trunk that's important. Look how deep the crevices are uh, in here, and everything is nice because this is all new pan in here. Right? This is all painted and buffed. It's got the right stickers. It's got new uh, weather strippings in here. You know, normally these old trunks, when they're the original trunks, they are covered in some mud and filler and things like this. This is really nice. I just wanted you to see kind of what you're getting. So you have a trunk mat in here and some other stuff that goes along with it, okay? All right, some of the detail in the back here. We got the Polish Correct Super Sport tips, a new gas tank. It's got the 12-volt rear. Great looking exhaust all the way through. The floor pans look really nice. The front suspension, everything's all detailed. This is a great car for driving too, I gotta tell you. Let's check under the hood for a minute and see what the, all the motivation's about and a couple nice features that you might not have known about. Okay, so we got original 396 in here with manifolds still on it, with the factory air conditioning still on it. It's got the right chrome valve covers, it's got the right air cleaner here, it's got the battery topper on it. Uh, this is polished, it's not supposed to be polished, but it looks really good in here. We can certainly paint that satin black if you'd like. Um, and we're going to finish detailing up the engine compartment in here so you get a nice car. So anyway, this is right in the middle of, uh, or actually on the tail end of, of its restoration process and I just wanted to get the video done uh, while we touch up some details about the car. And I think that, uh, you know, once this is uh, in your hands after we're finished with it, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. But it sounds great, it feels really good, and it really handles quite well. You'll be very surprised that this big block Chevelle uh, drives down the road as well as it does. So here we are heading into the SS396 cockpit. All right, so uh, all the dash lights work. Now this is what I'm talking about when I say a loaded up car. Like this is a very expensive Chevelle on the parking lot circa 1969. Think about this for a second. You got the upgraded four speed transmission, which wasn't free, okay? You got power steering, you got disc brakes, and you got power disc brakes, both options. You got the upgraded stereo here. You have air conditioning, which was a very expensive option at its time. It was almost 10% of the price of the car. You know, if today's car was $40,000, would you pay four grand for air conditioning? Probably not, because four grand will buy you a, an entire home air conditioning unit. So uh, a lot of people didn't choose air conditioning, especially in a muscle car 
uh, to find them with it and it working is really, really nice and rare. One of the other options it has, which is really nice, power windows. When's the last time you saw a Chevelle with power windows, huh? Factory tack in here, full gauges in here. It goes on and on, so many nice upgrades and accoutrements in the car, the console, the bucket seats. You know, I'm, I'm rattling these off and you say, well, that's the Chevelle I always wanted. Well, that's not all these Chevelles the way they were ordered because a lot of these cars didn't come with any of this stuff. They were just, uh, you know, performance vehicles and they weren't meant to have uh, a nice luxury items. And this one here, the black, black with all of this stuff makes it a very, very different car. How about a starter for you? Because uh, this car sounds great, I gotta tell you. You know, we've talked about a lot. We've talked about uh, the power windows, the factory tack and gauges, the console, the buckets, the four speed, uh, the big block 396, the power disc brakes, uh, the factory air conditioning, the upgraded uh, AM FM stereo, um, the rally wheels. I mean, just a host of options on this car that made it really, really nice. Not to forget or mention or, or embellish on the fact that the car is all black and black is beautiful. Black looks great, it's always been great, and it still is uh, a spectacular, spectacular feature on a car. The black bucket interior adds to the whole value, and I think that uh, if you really want a really cool Chevelle that looks great, you could drive to a local car show uh, and have some fun with, or you could take it out on a Saturday night, or take it to work on a Friday, jump in it after work, I think you'd have an awesome, awesome time. Anyway, if you have, uh, if you have an opportunity to get this in your life, call quickly, this car's gonna go fast. Call us, 301. 816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.